Hi guys, I hope you can see me okay. I'm trying to do this solo today as my two kids are doing some of their homework. I wanted to take out a uh, part of our day to just have some quiet time together. I know we usually do this after lunch. Uh, for about 15, 20 minutes, we do take out some books and try to just read independently, whether that's just looking at pictures, hunting for sight words, um, but sometimes we do like to also do some story read aloud. So I have through our program this week a story that we're going to read and we're going to try to answer some questions about the story afterwards. Uh, but before I do that, I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about our season of Lent that we're still in. And I know uh, this is a time when you're home and spending more time with your families. So remember that this season of Lent in um, in the church, this is a really important time to try to give up as little sacrifice um, to give up to God, to just let him know that uh, we thank him for making the ultimate sacrifice for us, which was dying on the cross for our sins. So maybe there's something a little extra that you could do around the house to help mom and daddy out today, um, or grandma or grandpa, whoever it is that you're with. Uh, maybe you could do a simple chore like making your bed or taking out the trash, helping to feed your pet if you have one. Um, so you could just pick one thing a day to just really try to help at home more. And that will be your little sacrifice that you can do during this season of Lent. Uh, we do also like to um, pray together each day. So I want to take this time out before we read our little story to go ahead and take some time out to pray. So we, we're going to bless ourselves and make the sign of the cross. And you could do that with me now. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side to light, to guard, to rule, and to guide. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have a special guest today, guys. He wanted to come up today. I know I've talked a lot about him. And here he is. This is Lucky. Lucky, say hi. He wants to be sitting next to me and curling up in the sun. So he'll sit over here and listen, and you guys can find your own quiet spot to listen. Um, another great place to go for quiet time, if you can, to enjoy the beautiful day. Maybe you could sit outside. Um, maybe you have a little porch, or maybe you have a spot that you like to go to. doesn't have to be indoors. It could be anywhere that you like to go that's quiet. So today, there was a lot of doggies out in my neighborhood. And with all the barking, I just decided to go ahead and just film this here for you. Um, I will be reading this story uh, once, and I know usually we like to read it twice together, but you can go ahead and just repeat this video um, afterwards and just listen to the story carefully twice. And then, like I said, I'll give you guys some questions to discuss uh, with a mommy or daddy or somebody that's at home with you today. Before I start to read, I want to review with you guys our skill of the week is realism and fantasy. So you have to remember that when we talk about realism or realistic stories, they tell about things that could really happen in real life. So pay attention to the characters and the uh, who could be animals um, or people. So if they seem like they're doing realistic things or real things, then you know the story would be a realism story. Okay. Um, you also know that fantasies are stories that tell about make-believe things or things that could not really happen in real life. And good readers need to learn to tell the difference because it helps them understand the stories they have read. Okay. So as I read the story, I want you to pay close attention to the characters. Uh, are they people or are they animals? I want you to pay attention to the setting, uh, which is where the story takes place. And I also want you to pay attention to the events in the story, which is what's happening, okay? Um, and like I said, you can play this back to listen through twice, and then I will give you guys some questions to answer. The title of our story today is called Going to the Moon. Katie and Zach were excited. They were going with their dad to pick up their mom at the airport. Dad, Katie asked, can we stop and watch the planes? Sure, Dad answered, let's do that. Will we see a rocket ship, Zach asked. Well, no, Dad said. Rocket ships don't take off from the airport. Do only rocket ships go to the moon? Zach asked, or could a bike go there? Dad and Katie laughed. Bikes that go to the moon are make-believe, Zach, Katie said. It's like saying your teddy bear is an astronaut in that rocket ship. Zach clutched his bear. Teddy could drive a rocket ship to the moon, he said. 
Okay, so you can, uh, like I said, replay this again to listen to it one more time. And then I want you to pause the video as I ask each question. And then you could turn and discuss with a brother or sister or friend, whoever's with you today. All right, so I want you to think back to this story going to the moon. Can you tell me the names of two of the characters that were in this story? Do you remember their names? The second question I'm going to ask you is, is the story realistic or is it fantasy? So pay close attention to, did the characters, who, which are the people in the story, did they seem like they were doing realistic things or did they seem like they were doing make-believe things? And my last question is for you to ask this. Suppose the story told about a bike that goes to the moon and a teddy bear that is an astronaut. Would that story be realistic or would it be fantasy? All right. So if you guys answered these questions right, um, give yourselves a big pat on the back. Great job of listening today and comprehending. Um, and just like you said, you might be reading more stories uh, that you come across in your house that are realistic or fantasy. Um, and you could tell your parents, how did, how did you know that? How did you find uh, that they were realistic or fantasy? And remember, pay close attention as you read to the characters, the setting, and events, and that will help you become a better reader. Enjoy your day. Take some time out today to give praise and thanks to God for everything he's done for us. And also take some quiet time somewhere to be reading for 15, 20 minutes. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye.